Hi, I am David with Center for Regenerative Agriculture. And I'm Camila, the compost coordinator for Center for Regenerative Agriculture. And today we are going to look at our continual flow worm bin. We're going to uh, see if we can harvest some worms from it. We are going to harvest castings from it and we're going to feed it later on. So a couple of things about this bin. This is the largest bin that we make and there is a photo essay on our website, ohicra.org. You can check out how we make this. And the, the, one of the challenges about vermicomposting is how do I uh, harvest those castings, those really good castings that are full of, of the soil food web of mixed biology, of diverse soil biology. And this self-harvests so it's a box that's on a metal frame. And the box is actually open bottomed and the metal frame has rope strung between the sides. And when we start this, we put a big sheet of cardboard under it and then we put food and worms and some, what I call bedding, although it's also food is the straw. And we layer that. And what happens is that when it gets fed from the top, worms move up and their castings come down. Eventually, the cardboard will rot out and the castings self-harvest, and they're all below this bin. So the last part of what we'll be doing is harvesting those castings. An important point to make about this, and a question we get asked a lot is, am I gonna have problems with rodents? And this bin is rodent proof. We make sure with this quarter inch hardware cloth that nothing can get into the bin, because of course this would be a beautiful place if you're a rat or a mouse to go and live because it's bedding and food and just all the things that you want in your life if you're a rodent. So we keep them out. Anyway, uh, anything else? Scalable. Yeah, we, we have smaller ones. I think at the end of this video, we might be able to show you a four by two version of this. We've done four by fours, three by six. This is a four by eight bin. So there's two lids and let's open them up and let's see what's inside. <laughs> All right, so we've, we've got our uh, continual flow worm bin is open. And now we can have a look and see what's going on inside. Now, one of the first things to see is that we've got it, the top layer covered in straw. And this is what we add, particularly to keep flies down. It is also a food source for the worms because when the bacteria grows on the uh, straw, then worms eat the bacteria. Now, we'll start going through here and we're just gonna look and see if we've got, oh, look, oh, we, look got, we, got. Got, we got some wiggly worms here. Ooh, Let's, here's a lot. Okay, great. We're gonna harvest some worms. And put those in our cup again. Oh, check out this one. They uh, aggregate around the food source. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Good pile of worms there. Worm wrangling. Okay, very good. What else have we got here? We don't want to dig yeah, necessarily too deep, but you can see under there that there's, there's quite a lot of soil building up here. So we've got good quality soil and quite a lot of worms. So Is that soil? Are those the castings? Yeah, those are the castings, that's right. Let's see, oh, here's another pile of worms. Yes, we, they congregate around the food. And you can see they haven't eaten everything yet. So there's still food in here. Let's get into this. Baby ones too, they reproduce really fast. So there's some small ones and then bigger ones. So what I think you saw there is that we've got good worm population covered up by straw. Um, we managed to harvest some worms. We see that there's still food in here. So we are going to feed again on top and we'll layer, we'll put food on, we'll put straw on top of that. So we'll do that uh, at last. But the next step is we haven't done this for about six months now. We're actually going to open up the bin uh, underneath and we're going to see what we've got in the way of castings that we can use to make actively aerated compost tea and to spread the biology into living plant systems. So let's have a look at that next. We're getting ready to uh, harvest the castings from underneath this continual flow worm bin and we have this uh, quarter inch hardware cloth which is lapped under these one foot pavers. It's a very simple system that keeps rodents out and what we have to do is just move the pavers away, uh, pull out some staples and then we can get to our castings. And you know, one of the things that's great about these bins is, is unintended good consequences. And we have these at schools. One of the things that's most exciting for kids is when we get, for instance, salamanders 
or frogs appear in the bin. And I, when I was designing and working with these bins, I didn't think that we were going to get that. That's an unintended good consequence, and that's a symptom of working in regenerative systems. So you want to pay attention to those. You can see all the ropes, and, and that's then, what helps keep the bottom open without everything falling out. Then we can have a look and see what we've got under our bin. Right, so we pulled the wire off the front of the bin, and now we're ready to harvest the castings. And that's what Camila is doing right now. Let's see what we've got under the bin. We're and we're using tools with kind of nice teeth on them to help spread, like, sh shake out all of the good stuff. <laughs> See that nice, rich, dark color? And the castings are really important for high quality soil health. So that's why we're collecting them today. So we harvested from underneath our continual flow worm bin, got a lot of great uh, castings from the worms. And you know, the, really what you want healthy soil to look like is is uh, black cottage cheese and this has got that form and you know I broke up in this one you know we've got soil formation happening this soil would be best suited this compost would be best suited for annuals because there's probably not very much fungal hyphae in here because we're not adding wood chips we're adding uh, straw and um, rotting vegetables basically so it's more of a bacterial food, and that would be more suitable for annual vegetables. But certainly this is a high quality, diverse soil that we can use to amend plants. And we're going to extend the ability of this to feed plants by making actively aerated compost tea out of it. We're going to do that in another location. So what we're going to do right now is bag some soil. So we've uh, harvested the castings from this bin and we got at least eight cubic feet more of really high quality vermicompost that's self-harvested from this bin. And we've uh, put the wire back on, stapled it back on. So the, the tools we used today were really just a, a little tool for pulling uh, the staples out and then a stapler to put them back in. And we've got the quarter inch hardware cloth uh, held down with pavers and it really works, keeps it rodent free. So the last thing that we're going to do with the bin is we're going to feed it and water it and cover it up and uh, then we're going to take our, uh, our collected compost and we'll take it to another location for use in a community garden there. try to avoid feeding a ton of citrus to it so that's what Camilla is doing is sorting out just excess citrus but you know everything breaks down it's just that the citrus peels have antibacterial properties not the best thing for worm food we'll cover this up with some straw from this side the worms love leafy greens and they like to be moist Looks like it's got some fungal hyphae on it already. So. And so the straw is a source of food, but it's also about keeping this moist. It gets hot here in summer. You want to have a nice insulating layer. And the last thing it'll do is hose that down. So worms like moisture really can't get these bins too wet because if there's too much water it just flows through into the casting to keep them moist. So as we were looking through this we, we had good layer, good level of moisture 
um, really soaking this straw. This has been, the straw got rained on too, so it's pretty wet. So we're just doing a kind of token moisturizing. Keep those worms happy. So we uh, fed our worms, we uh, hosed it all off, we sealed it back up, we've harvested um, a lot of really nice worm castings, and we harvested some worms too. So good day at the uh, continual floor worm bin, and uh, another great project of Center for Regenerative Agriculture.